Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'll be doing my review on Keep Your Word by Bamboo Apps. Again, this is part of my Back to School series. So let me start up here. So once you start up, you can simply start a new dictionary by pressing File, New Dictionary. And this will open the main window of Keep Your Word here, where you can organize all your words by tag, uh, whatever. I'm going to go through uh, them right now. So once you start, you've got your library, so all your words. And then you can also add uh, folders here for different subjects, different languages, uh, and then you have smart groups, for example, all the words you added in the last two days, and stuff like that, so that's pretty straightforward. So uh, right when you start up, there's a sample word, which is I am a word, just to show you how it works, they've included that. So I'm just going to quickly remove this word, and add a new one. So adding a new word is really easy, just click add word button, and uh, you add your word in two different languages, so I'm going to do English French here for example, and then you can add tags uh, to it, so that's pretty uh, straightforward too. Uh, comments, uh, this one, for example, this one is easy, whatever. If you find this one easy, then you have your progress in your word, and if you fully memorized it, you just click the memorize. Uh, here you also have some extra features, text media, other me metadata, uh, which is a little bit more complicated. Um, you, call, you can also, once you have a bunch of words, um, if two words have the same tag, for example, uh, you can click on related words and you'll find all the related word words. Um, so, yep, that's pretty cool. Um, to add a folder, you click yes, you go on classifications, click on plus, then you, for example, do English to French, and then you can drag your words to the English to French folder. So there you go, it's pretty easy to organize words. So then the other cool feature they have is actually downloading dictionaries from the internet. So you have to go to your browser, it's not built into the application unfortunately, uh, but you go to wordsparade.com and there they have a bunch of different um, dictionaries and you can go ahead and download whatever you want. So for example, again, English to French, you click on it, you download the file and you're good to go. Um, so once you got the file downloaded, it's really easy, simply double click it and boom, it opens up a new dictionary with um, all the words that you just downloaded. You can also drag words between dictionaries if you want to. Um, so yep. And uh, again, to add a um, folder, it's the same. Once you have a folder, you select the ones you want to go. For example, English to French again. You add them to a folder and boom, you have everything um, organized. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now going through um, the actual exercises because I just showed you how to uh, basically organize all your words uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So for the exercises they've got uh, a few different ones. They've got up to th six different uh, ways of exercising. Flashcard, quick quiz, printed test, written test, time challenge and memory. So all of them are pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go uh, through them. Um, so for first off we have flashcards again, uh, straightforward. You have a card uh, and at one side you have the English and at the other side you have the fr uh, French um, so you can uh, go through those cards and you can flip them as well um, I am a word so this is the sample word then for example you have English, leech and then in French sans for example so whatever English uh, I mean whatever language you're doing and uh, if you know you have it wrong or right you can you have shortcuts uh, for example you have this right it's uh, option command O and then it says okay you remembered it and for example you try this one oh I had it wrong then it's option command K and then obviously it's gonna show you uh, next time it's gonna tell you that uh, you didn't remember that so it's easier for you which one you need to like concentrate more on uh, so that's the first exercise so flashcards quick quiz so that's just uh, multiple question or multiple uh, answers questions and it's just A and B and you for example say wreckage and then if is it that or that um, so yep and you just do B and then it says okay or not you go to the next one rattlesnake boom B and then it's okay so you do it that way uh, it's pretty it's a pretty cool quiz actually because it goes really quickly you can skip uh, through them uh, really quickly uh, so that's pretty cool uh, so then for the third one is printed test so that's basically going to show you all the words and then their word, your word, and you can um, print those out, both words, and uh, you can uh, print it out. So that's a pretty easy uh, file print and you're good to go. 
So I'm not going to do that for now because I don't want to print, but I mean, you can understand it, just printing out the test. Then we have written test. Um, so you put the word in English, for example, and you have to put uh, the word in French. Uh, in this case, I have no idea um, what it is, but uh, yeah, you can evaluate the answers. Uh, they believe, for example, and go to the next one. Um, so if you have it wrong or not. And uh, sometimes you have a ton of different words saying the same. So in that case, it's pretty difficult to do a written test. So the written test doesn't always work that great, uh, but uh, it's pretty cool to have it as well. Uh, then the fourth, or I mean the fifth already, uh, is time challenge. So pretty straightforward. You have a certain amount of time, um, 30 seconds, and the letters s slowly pop up. Um, so you have 30 seconds to guess the word and uh, write it down. But I have to write it in French. Okay, I get it. But uh, so basically it slowly shows up the word in English and then you have to write it in French. Uh, so that's pretty cool stuff too. It's a little fun game there actually. Uh, and then the last one is memory. Um, so uh, whatever you do, click to, uh, click to flip and it's like a normal memory game. So that one goes with that one or that one goes with that one. You know, I mean, that's the standard um, game you have in a lot of... Uh, uh, kids game so you have that too and it's great uh, for remembering as well so that's for all the exercises um, so that's pretty cool and the last thing I want to show you is that you can actually send your dictionary to iPhone and iPad touch it actually works pretty great uh, pretty well um, and uh, you can go out and check out their iPhone app um, so yep on the app store um, that's about it for my review on Keep Your Word. If you have any other questions, be sure to contact me or check out their website before. It's uh, bamboolabs.com. I'll just quickly show you here. Uh, bamboolabs.com and then Keep Your Word. Um, so they've got a bunch of uh, different features here. They show up all the features. So if you want to get more information, uh, be sure to check out their website. Uh, it retails for $35.95, so about $35. Um, so that's about... A little under 30 euros at this moment but obviously that changes all the time so I can't really judge on that but uh, I'll thank you for watching my review I uh, hope you liked it again if you have any questions check out the website otherwise write me an email at contact at I'll thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys next time Peace.